At 4.30, we have an update on pandemic pay. A fund set up to give bonuses to essential workers is now running out of money. And now there are calls on lawmakers to find more money to fully fund it. Channel 3's chief political reporter Susan Raff is live at the state capitol this afternoon. Susan, what is going on here? Well, Aaron, the bottom line is there isn't enough money in this particular fund to give out the bonuses that were promised. Now, the reason for this, we are told, is mainly for the fact that more people applied than the state comptroller anticipated. In fact, today, Sean Scanlon, who is the state comptroller-elect, said if something isn't done, those bonuses that people were promised will be a lot less. For example, a bonus of about $1,000 would only be about $232. So Scanlon is urging the legislature to come back in for a special session and put money in so this fund can be fully funded. And to fully fund this program means that it will cost the state $122 million to make sure that each and every one of the people who applied each and every one of those people who served our state so well during this such a difficult time, they get the bonus that they were promised and that they deserve. So the comptroller-elect is urging the state legislature to come back and either take money from another fund, which may have additional funding, or even use some of the state surplus, which is billions of dollars, and put money into this fund. And coming up on Eyewitness News at 6, you'll hear from a health care worker who worked during the pandemic, who applied back in August. She's still waiting to hear and how she feels about this fund and why it's really needed and why she feels the legislature should fix it. We are live at the state capitol tonight. Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.